match the hatch color matching one of the things that i love to do and you guys know that i love to paint bold colors these and much more on today's update Hola, fish heads, Jen Crevasse, Jekyll Bates, and today is Mother's Day. Today is May the 9th, 2021, and we have got an update. I'm going to try and do this, and I hate to say it, in a one day. I'm not going to say it like he says it. Only he can say it that way. But we've got a lot of stuff to show you guys today. First and foremost, these guys right here. You'll notice the watercolor painting. This is the original. It's from Joe's Catch. He does a lot of fly fishing and he loves targeting big, gorgeous bluegill in North Georgia. So I love it when he posts pictures. This is a hatch match. It is uh, the original watercolor that I'm doing prints off of. If you guys would like to get your hands on prints, I've got them in eight by 10, 11 by 14, and 16 by 20 size of this beautiful ink and watercolor that I put together. Not intentionally for Joe, but I love his stuff so much that a lot of times I just absolutely have to recreate it in watercolor as best I can. So if you guys are interested, there will be a link below that you guys can pre-order. It's going to be right on the Jekyll Bates Company website. So that is that. It's very pretty. I enjoyed doing this. I did this on one of the rainy days when it was just wicked, wicked, wicked humid. And my airbrush paint was just not coming out right, so I just sat down and on that rainy day did a watercolor i also did a bunch of these at the time now i know that um per se on the on the watercolor there are no blue gill plate edges but it made sense to do it on the pattern so this is a really cool Baby Bull Gill, Catch Co's Baby Bull Gill, partnered with Mike Buca. At this, at this point, you guys should probably all know that I work at the Bull Shad shop, the warehouse and storefront. Um, we, we are partnered, Jekyll Bates has partnered with Mike Buca to, um, to collaborate on multiple, multiple things, this being one of them, the custom line. And you can buy these guys at the storefront, and occasionally I'll do drops of these. But just a couple of those, nice and subtle colors, playing with a couple of different stencils. Now, I'm going to show you a few things, one of which is the Fen Wheel from Russ Allen that I absolutely love and adore. Um, and they put down these amazing fins. Now, obviously, there's already a fin imprinted into the mold of this bait, but in order to make it more lifelike, Sometimes it helps to use that fin wheel just so you can spray the color that you want on the fish that you have. These are striper. They're headed out to the southwest to Andy. They are long overdue. Uh, for some reason, the package that I sent several weeks ago has not arrived. Hopefully, you'll get them and this, and you'll have bonus baits. But I'm also going to send him a couple of goodies for the long wait time, which I will do for you guys Um if, if I have a tracking number and it just shows that it's spinning around there out in mail space, uh, which a lot of times, unfortunately, lately, it has been doing, uh, you, there's only so much you can attribute to whatever the pandemic or COVID or don't get me started on a rant. I'm not going to do it, but um, it, there's just, it's mail has been so jacked for the last 18 months now. It's, it's sad, really. And uh, if you guys are unfortunately have fallen prey to mail issues, let me know. Um, don't just harvest being upset and not knowing what's going on. Reach out to me. I'm a very accessible person, and I try to make sure that everybody is tended to as best I can. But I, if I don't know that you haven't gotten your package, I can't help you. Um, I can file claims and all sorts of stuff once we realize and can pin down that your mail has not gotten to you so that's just a little tips word for the wise please reach out to me um, if we can find your tracking number and can prove that it hasn't gotten to you then i will do everything humanly possible to make sure that you guys have got your orders and uh, whatever whatever it is that y'all need this i was just playing with colors 
and there are no distinct bluegill markings on the, the long vertical stripes, but I really liked all of the iridescent. This is just iridescent paint. It's nothing special. It's not mica, but it just, uh, just love the way this color came out. It's very simplified, very plain. You've got that copper tangerine that I mixed together. It's a copper color metallic paint with a pearlescent orange, uh, tangerine orange on the bottom. And then just some basic, almost like a copper nose. Yep, very similar, but just a good all around go-to little wake bait from Bullshed. Love gills. That's that's my thing. I know a lot of you guys are awesome, awesome, awesome artists at painting shad. I just love gills. I love the gills. I've got them on these little guys too. This does have that marking, almost 3D. This does not have a home. These do. These three pieces do. These are all the rats available. I've got the website pretty much tailored to what I want it to do now. I will be doing, I've taken off a lot of the smaller baits, trying to concentrate on the baby bullshad, baby bullgill, the bullshad drops, and then top water. Um, so most of what I'm doing now is going to be switched over and focused on that form of fishing, whether it's big swim baits or top water. Love these wake baits. And, uh, and then I'll, I'll do occasional drops like crank baits or whatnot. But these have a home. They are getting ready to get shipped out tomorrow on Monday. And then I did, I'm playing around with, let me show you what it is. And I, <laughs> uh, almost mesmerizing if you guys are looking at that clip right now. There wasn't a fan on it. Uh, it's an alcohol base because I can smell the alcohol in it. I'm walking away from the camera and talking as I speak because I'm going over to my spray bench and picking up this stuff right here. And it is highly, highly chrome um, to the point where it does shine it looks exactly like the chrome that you're seeing that's dried at the top of this bottle it's really good um, thin layers it's a very liquidy thin paint it does need to be addressed you can shoot it through the airbrush no problem but it is an alcohol base which is why it's so viscous and motion it's uh, i want to say motion oriented because it's just it's just amazing paint. I really like it. I'm behind it now. Um, super happy with how it turns out. You've got some good silvery chrome on the bottom. Now this has been muted down with some red and then some silver eyes. So just some basics on this. I was just playing around. This does not have a home either, but I love that brushed look how this bait turned out. Also got a rat, fun little rat. Just a brown mouse or brown rat. I like doing the insides of these baits reddish dark. Makes it look a little more, more wounded. I don't like throwing blood splatter on all the baits. I know a lot of people are really into that and they believe that it helps target uh, the fish that might go after something wounded. This is how I do it so that they get that flash of red when this is going back and forth in the water. This is my preferred way to make a wounded bait. Just a little bit of dark at the tail. And um, I love Danny Joe's tails. I also love Reckless Rodent's tails. So I think on this one, and we've been swim testing them here, I'm going to go with these 7-inch Reckless Rodent tails. Pete does a phenomenal job molding these things. It's small batch, um, so I will definitely give props to both companies. But Danny Joe's um, has got some really, really cool stuff as well. And uh, our good friend Kelly Barefoot owns Danny Joe's. And our good friend Pete Carter at Reckless Rodent's is doing small batch tails 
and they're both floating so one of the things that's key for any rat is that you want to make sure that you have a tail that floats because if you have a tail if you throw a tail on here like a zoom trick worm or anything that's got salt in it it's really going to change the action on how these things swim so that's your helpful tip for the day so go look up kelly's uh, danny joe worms and also check out the small batch releases that pete is doing i think primarily on his website um, and when I've been purchasing, I've, I've purchased a few things from him now that I'm super, super happy with in the action. And, and I tell you, Mike always gives props to Pete as well, um, just in how he executes his molds and his baits and the time he takes to actually test those swim baits that he's making over at Reckless Rodents on the West Coast. So good on you guys. All about community, not competition. The last four that I'm going to show you, yes, it's been a long time coming. These are Imperial Craws um, from my good friend Don, who has sent these along uh, quite a while ago. They were sitting in the office. Somehow I had unboxed them. It's just been, again, I'm still trying to get into a rhythm of getting these customs that you guys are ordering along with my expectations from Mike and from these folks over here in Chicago um, getting stuff done. So I'm fitting it in. You guys have been more than patient with me. This is how these baits turned out and I'm super happy with it. And I hope Don, I hope you are too. I saved the best for last because you have just been terrific. And obviously Andy as well in the black hole of the U.S. mail service. Thank you guys for your patience. Thank you guys for your kindness. And thank you for your continued support for Jekyll Bates and all small businesses out there. I hope that you're, I mean, I, obviously I'm always going to ask for, you know, your business because I love you guys and I love making these kind of creations for you. I know Tina's got some stuff coming that are going to be similar to these trolling baits. Um, but I, I hope that you are sampling some of the other fine artists out here in the United States and worldwide. There's some really good custom airbrush, airbrush artists out there. So please um, don't just support me, support small business as a whole. I always am a big proponent of that and the small batch airbrush community in the fishing industry. That's what I've got for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Happy Mother's Day. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Happy Sunday, fun day. And I will see you guys on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.